friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. It's Wednesday, so it's what I eat in a day. I have some really good meals to share with you today, some new exciting food finds, and an amazing, and I mean amazing, dinner recipe. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, I would love to have you here. I do upload five days a week, so definitely subscribe, ring the bell so you never miss a future upload. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. It's an amazing supportive community and we'd love to have you be part of it. So let's jump in to what I eat in a day. these Crepini cage-free egg wraps, zero net carbs made with cauliflower. These are basically egg white wraps with cauliflower. I bought these at Costco. We're going to try them out this morning. I almost didn't pick them up because I'm like, what if they're disgusting? But I've heard really good things about them. So we're going to use them as the tortilla or the shell for a little breakfast wrap. I also bought some Canadian bacon at Costco. So I'm going to pan fry up. I'm going to dice up, I should say, and pan fry up a few pieces of that. And then I think I'm going to spread a laughing cow cheese wedge on the wrap. I think I may warm up the wrap too, just to make it a little bit more pliable, but we're going to try that out. I'm going to have some blackberries and blueberries as well, but let's see how these actually taste and if this was a good decision to pick up. I'm going to fry up my Canadian bacon. I want it warm and crispy. And then I'm just gonna throw that egg wrap in the microwave for a couple of seconds to warm it up right before the Canadian bacon is done. So this egg wrap thing is interesting. Look at how thin it is. It is literally thin like a crepe. It is very pliable without warming it up. But I still think I'm going to just pop it in the microwave for a couple of seconds. So here's breakfast. It was a little bit of a fail. So I think with these wraps, because they are so thin, spreading the Laughing Cow cheese in there, just the art of spreading it toward the wrap. So I would recommend just using shredded cheese or regular cheese, which is what I will do next time. But I'm just going to eat it with a fork. I'm really excited to see if it has any taste because I've heard that it's pretty much flavorless, but we'll definitely test that out. And then I just have some blackberries and some blueberries here. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. All right, let's try this out. See if this was a good purchase. So I got a little Canadian bacon, a little cheese, and the egg wrap. I don't taste the egg wrap at all, so let me try the egg wrap kind of by itself. It has no taste. I mean, it literally doesn't taste like anything. So it's great as a wrap alternative. You're getting a little bit of protein. It's only 30 calories. It tastes really good with the Canadian bacon and the cheese, but you really don't taste the wrap at all, which is not necessarily a bad thing. 
definitely a good purchase. Are you gonna get up today, buddy? Huh? Are you gonna get up for the day? He's been laying on this pillow in the corner. He wedges it down so that he can make a little bed for himself. Morning snack time. I'm about to go sit down and edit my meal prep and I filmed another recipe video for you guys. I really wanna try to put out more recipe type of videos for you in 2022. So I filmed one last night. I'm going to edit that as well. So for my morning snack, I'm having the Alani New Fit Shake in Munchies. Like I said, I ordered a couple of cases of these, one of the Munchies, one of the cookies and cream, and I'm just trying to finish these up. They, this one tastes really, really good. I don't love the ingredients. And it has 20 grams of protein, which is still pretty good, but that's why I picked up the Fairlife in my grocery haul because I once I finish these up, I'd like to use a protein shake that has 30 grams, but the Munchies is pretty good. So that's going to be my morning snack. Holy moly, it's freezing. Look at all the snow we have, you guys, and it's so cold. It's in the single digits and even the negatives overnight. Are you guys gonna come in? It's freezing. It's freezing. Let's go in the warm house. Lola, I can't believe you're even out there that long. So cold. So for lunch today, you saw me make up some tuna fish with some light mayo. I grabbed a couple of romaine leaves. I'm going to fill them with the tuna fish. This is one of my very favorite easy lunches that's really, really high in protein. And the lettuce just gives it a nice crisp. I don't miss the bread at all. I'm also going to have a serving of these Wisps Cheese Crisps. That's a mouthful in Parmesan. A serving of these is 19 crisps and it's 150 calories. And I'm having a sugar-free pudding for dessert. So here is my lunch for today, my nice healthy lunch. I think I'm going to add a little bit of pepper to the tuna fish. These are a great substitution for potato chips and then perfect little sweet treat post lunch. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. So now that Christmas is over, all my Christmas decorations are taken down. I'm kind of feeling the vibe, the urge to, to put up my Valentine's Day little plaque on my front door. So I thought that we could do that today. It's the beginning of January. It's about a month out from Valentine's Day. I don't think that that's unreasonable. So I don't have a lot of Valentine's decorations, but I do like to decorate my front door for all the season. cute, so festive. It's about one o'clock and I ate lunch about an hour and a half ago and I'm just feeling a little snacky. So I'm actually going to have a Gatorade Zero with protein. I love these. They do not taste weird at all. The pro Whatever protein is in here has no taste, no texture. It just tastes like regular Gatorade and there's 10 grams of protein. So I buy these at Costco. So I'm going to sip on this. I'm going to relax a little bit before I have an afternoon snack. And I do have a Zoom call this afternoon with my New Year's challenge group. So I'm going to enjoy my little Gatorade with protein. And then a little bit later, we'll have a snack and hop on a Zoom call. So here is my snack right before I go on to my Zoom call. So I have one of my two good yogurts and then I put a tablespoon of hemp seeds. I love hemp seeds. They're so good. They add a nice nutty flavor and a nice crunch to things and they are full of really good for you vitamins and minerals. So I have my yogurt with one tablespoon of that and then I am going to have my Nick sticks. You guys know I love these. Both of these turkey sticks is 75 calories and 10 grams of protein. I just filled up my water to take with me on my Zoom call. So this is going to be my afternoon snack. If you haven't tried hemp seeds in your yogurt, it's really good. It does add a little bit of a nutty taste, but it just adds a really good texture to it. So good. For tonight's dinner recipe, I am making chicken mushroom soup. I'm so excited for this. I have been in all the comfort food feels. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need Parmesan cheese, minced garlic, 
lots of chicken broth. So I think there's about two cups left in this carton. And then I have a couple of cans of chicken broth as well. Also, lots of mushrooms. I'm going to use this entire huge package of organic mushrooms and these mini baby bellas. The original recipe also calls for shiitake. I couldn't find those, so I just picked a big pack of the regular brown mushrooms. One third less fat cream cheese, fresh sage, an onion, Monterey Jack shredded cheese, chicken, and then lastly, some dried thyme. You could also get fresh thyme. And the original recipe also calls for mas Marsala wine. I thought I had it, but I guess I was confusing that with Mirin. So I don't have the Marsala wine to add. Highly recommend if you do have it, it would be a great addition to the soup. So the first thing I'm going to do is dice my chicken into one inch pieces, chop up my onion, and then I'm actually going to chop all of my mushrooms in half. It doesn't say to do that in the recipe, but these are rather large to just have them floating in the soup. So I am going to chop them in half. So to get started on our soup, you're going to need a rather large stock pot or Dutch oven. I'm going to spray the bottom with some nonstick cooking spray. I've diced my chicken into little bite-sized pieces. We're going to add that to the stock pot and allow the chicken to cook through. Once the chicken is cooked through, I'm going to transfer it onto a plate here and just set it aside. To the same stock pot, I'm going to add in a lot of mushrooms. This bowl is nice and full and we're going to allow these to saute down. We know that mushrooms kind of like spinach, when they saute down, they are much, much smaller. So we're going to let these cook completely. Now you can reserve a few of the sauteed mushrooms Put those aside if you wanna garnish your soup with those, which I might just do that, and then the rest of the mushrooms will just stay in the pot. Told you our mushrooms would saute down a lot. I did remove just a few to garnish. Now we're going to add in the chopped up onion, minced garlic, and our fresh sage. I did go ahead and chop that up. And we're going to allow this to simmer down for four or five more minutes. This smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. Those herbs and the mushrooms, oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Now we're going to add in five cups of chicken stock. We're going to allow this to come to a rolling simmer. Once your soup is simmering, we're going to add back in the pieces of chicken and allow it to simmer an additional 10 minutes. So the soup is done. It smells so good. It's nice and creamy. I am going to plate it up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is tonight's dinner. Doesn't this look so good? It smells incredible. You're getting a lot of veggies, protein. It's a creamy soup, which is amazing. So I will make sure this recipe is on my website. When you click the recipe, it will recalculate into your points, but this is going to be tonight's dinner. Points and calories will be here on the screen for you. For dessert tonight, I'm going to have some Smart Sweets. It's been a while since I had Smart Sweets and I love them. They are so incredibly delicious. The entire bag is between 100 and 110 calories and they range from three to four Smart Points a bag so they are such a great sweet treat you get the entire bag for the points and calories they have three to four grams of sugar that's it for a gummy candy and in my opinion they taste just as good as traditional gummy candies so today I'm going to have the fruity gummy bears I will link smart sweets down below for you with 10% off if you want to shop their website they generally have the biggest selection and the lowest price plus you get 10% off so this is my dessert. That's a wrap for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, seeing all of the yummy food that I ate throughout the day today. That mushroom soup was really good. I loved how creamy it was and how packed with vegetables it was. I'm definitely going to be enjoying all the leftovers of that for sure. Of course, that recipe is on my recipe website. Click the link, it'll recalculate into your points. Don't forget to check out the description box again for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. We would absolutely love to have you. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you next time.